Hello, my name is James Elliott. I just wanted to share with you some issues I've had with my truck. This is my 2003 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 four-wheel drive. And as you can see, I've been rebuilding the front end uh, Pretty much anything that moves on the front end, I'm replacing. And this truck has 175,000 miles on it. So anybody with a truck like this that age knows that the front axle seals are probably leaking. So while I had it all apart, I decided to replace the front axle seals where the axle comes out of the differential. And over here is one of those axles. This goes in the front left of the <clears throat> differential. And the problem with this, it's supposed to just pop right out. It has a little circlip right here that expands what sits in place <clears throat> and keeps the axle from inadvertently coming out of the differential. The problem is, as you can see here in this picture, the circlip is offset. It's not centered. That's what keeps it from coming out of the differential easily. So if you can center it like that, it should pop right out. But the problem is, how do you center it when you can't get to it inside the differential? So there are a lot of YouTube videos online with various hints for how to get this thing out of the differential. Uh, I've, I tried all of them. I tried tapping it from the back. I tried prying it with a crowbar. I tried tapping it and prying it. I went to O'Reilly's Auto Parts and rented a slide hammer with the plate that bolts onto it so you can use the slide hammer to try to pull it out and nothing would work. So I was down to the last resort, which is to remove the differential from the truck, split it open and tap the shaft out from the inside. <clears throat> but then a thought occurred to me that maybe that clip was offset and since all I was trying to do was pull it out, uh, the clip basically stayed offset and, and it was forced against the inside of the uh, differential. So it occurred to me, maybe if I tap the shaft back in and rotate it, it would give that little clip a chance to recenter itself. So I had the slide hammer from O'Reilly's and I mounted it on here and what I would do is I would hit the shaft in one time good and hard and then I would rotate it about 90 degrees and then I would hit out on the with the slide hammer several times if that didn't work I'd hit it in again rotate it 90 degrees and hit it out several times so, and I had been working on this for days, trying to get it out. As soon as I used that technique, hit it in once, hit it out a couple times, rotate it 90 degrees, hit it in, hit it out a couple times, just like three times of doing that and it popped right out. Nothing to it. Saved me the work of having to remove the differential and split it open and everything. So by hitting it in and turning it, you're giving that little circlip a chance to recenter itself. So I hope this helps somebody. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them. Thank you.